So I made this to replicate my scale. So I have a nut. The string goes over the 12th fret, which is the octave of the instrument, and I glued that onto my board. There's a bridge and also a tailpiece. And now what I do is uh, with the tuner at the top, I can uh, tune my open string to a C. And then when I play the octave, which is the 12th fret, I should technically have a, a C that is an octave higher, but that is uh, no sharp or no flat. So by having a bass line, I can uh, move my movable bridge forward or back. So this is uh, where the C is. And then uh, uh, at this point, I'm changing to uh, the next string, which is the G. And um, I'll do the same. So the scale is the same. Uh, by changing the gauge uh, of the string, uh, the tension will change. Therefore, the location of the bridge, bridge ends up being different. And you can see here, I'm going to go back and forth uh, because I, uh, I tune my open string and then I go to the 12th fret and it's not in tune. So I'm going to have to move the bridge in order to compensate. And then uh, it's, it's over a long period, like it's, it's very uh, uh, condensed here in the video. But uh, I spent probably like 20 minutes per string just to make sure that, that the location I was going to mark down on my, uh, on my board uh, was going to be a perfect octave. So when the perfect uh, octave is found, I can make another mark onto my board and then label it as such. And then uh, at this point, I'll, uh, I'll be able to uh, move to the next string again. So you can see here, I found where, <clears throat> where I want the G to be. Uh, so there's about like maybe uh, less, a bit less than an eighth of difference between the C and the G. And then I'll, I'll, move, I'll move through the strings uh, this way until I have all the, por the proper intonation for all the strings. So when I put the bridge onto the instrument, uh, all this all the strings should be properly have the proper intonation in regards with their gauge and their tension uh, to be on the instrument you, you might have noticed as well I change uh, my tuner uh, the tuner I had on my phone was picking up the lower notes quite a bit better than uh, the actual tuner that I have uh, that I'm using right now. So uh, I, I went back and forth with the two and at, at one point I had both tuners going at the same time and noticed that the lower frequency was working better on my phone and then the higher frequency were, were working better on the other tuner. So this ends up being the the last string which is the A string and I'm gonna put a line to uh, align the the location just to make sure I have a, a good visual it doesn't get lost and then I've, I've got perfect intonation for uh, my instrument <laughs> 